living in Eddie S. Holmes at 569 Columbus Avenue, Boston, and later at Pleasant View, Concord, New Hampshire, and Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts, Fry ran the houses, managed her personal affairs, and dealt with her official correspondence. He was reportedly with her practically every day from August 1882, when he joined her household as her chief aide, until she died in December 1910. Fry became known locally during his lifetime for taking Eddie for a daily ride in a horse-drawn carriage, with Fry dressed in a uniform and top hat sitting next to the coachman. He is known within Christian science historiography chiefly for the diary he left behind, which details Eddie's domestic life. Caroline Fraser wrote in 1999 that the diary, and notebooks Fry kept of Eddie's dictation, are among the most mysterious and coveted documents held by the Christian Science Church, and that, at the time of writing, no outside scholars had been allowed to see the originals. Ditmore had been on the board of directors of the Christian Science Church, though became estranged from them. Fry had removed parts of the diary that were the most incriminating and had entrusted them to the church, Ditmore copied them, burned the originals, and years later published them. Fry is buried in the West Parish Garden Cemetery in Andover, Essex County, Massachusetts, in Plot 02-123F.